Guten Tag, wie geht's? Another episode of Fun with Flags. Today, the Deutsche Demokratische Republik. Oh wait, wrong video. We're going to do a review of the Nikon 1 J4 today, which is in this Nikon bag. So, this is a nifty little bag. It has lots of zippers and pockets for everything. So, voila. There it is. Nikon 1 J4. Introduced last year, about a year ago. And it's a fantastic compact system camera with which is very light and very well made. So, Make sure I got it in the frame right here. Okay, there we go. So, this is actually the accessory lens, which is a um, 30 to 110. You can see right there. So, one of the really cool features of the lenses with the lens lock right here, see the lens lock right there, is if you turn the lens lock, take the lens cap off, the camera automatically turns on. That's very useful. So, once you get your, uh, it's in full automatic right now. So if I just touch the screen right here, it'll focus, the flash will pop up if it needs it, and it takes a picture. That's very cool. So you can take a picture in just a few seconds after, after getting the camera out of the bag, you're ready to shoot. So, Bam. Oh, and also, once you're done, turn that ring, lock it into place, camera turns off. Very cool. So, this is a, this lens goes for $250, brand new. I got a brand new copy on eBay for $150, so you might want to look for one of those on eBay with the USA warranty. So I'm going to put my lens cap back on. And... Then what I'm going to do is get back into the bag here and find our kit lens. There it is right there. This is the 10-30 to 30 right there, which is the equivalent in 35 millimeter terms of being 27 to 81 millimeters. And this one, the 3110, is the equivalent of 81 to 297 millimeters. So 27 to 297 millimeters and two very compact lenses. All thanks to the Nikon CX sensor, which is just fantastic. So this camera is made almost entirely of aluminum. It's a magnesium body or a chassis, and even the battery cover is aluminum. So the lenses are aluminum. There's no plastic here. But the only plastic is uh, the buttons right here, plastic. But other than that, everything is the uh, tripod socket is metal. So, yeah, very well made camera. $600 retail one year ago. I got it for $249 with the uh, standard kit lens, which, as I say, is a power zoom lens, which is very cool. Take the lens cap off here. Put that on, you can see the size of the sensor right there, right there. So there's a little metal tab right here. You line that up with this little dot right there. And so when you line those up, you turn, you turn it counterclockwise, just like that. So the power zoom lens does not have a lens cap, you'll notice. It doesn't need one. Turn it on, no more lost lens cap, just like that. So bam. So um, so you got all the different modes you would possibly need. In the creative mode, right here on the dial, um, that has your all your settings. So you, that's after priority right there, and you can and you can go up and down to uh, 
Well, let's see here. Okay, so I hit the A right there. Now I can go to shutter priority. Just like that. The shutter priority. And then uh, manual, full manual mode, just like that. So, very easy to operate. So I'm going to go back to aperture, which is where I always leave it. Okay. So, um, this is a quick menu right here, this F button function. So when you're in creative mode, you hit the F button, and you get this little screen that shows you basically everything you need to change. So, if you want to go to the full menu, hit the menu button right there, go to the uh, shooting mode, and you can change all your settings. So one thing you can change right here, I just actually have this turned off right now, is the... Um, go into settings right there, it's the silent photography. So when the silent photography is on, you can take a picture, and there's no beep at all. Zero beep. That's fantastic. For, especially for candid shots. It's a rare feature. So I'm going to go back into the menu and turn that off so you can hear what the sound sounds like when you, when you take a picture normally. So hit menu again and like that. Now I've got an, an aperture priority so it's uh, it took a really slow exposure there. I'm going to put it back into fully manual and now you can see it's going to pop up the flash and and really you notice all those all those focus points? Yeah, 171 focus points. That's really truly amazing. Uh, 105 of which are um, phase detection. So phase detection means it works in really low light and is extremely fast. So I'm shooting this video in fact with the Sony A37 DSLR and that has phase detection. That too is extremely fast to focus. Much faster than contrast detection. So um, Let's go over a couple other points here. So, one of the things I wanted to go over is how to use the um, Wi-Fi feature. So this is my LG Ultimate 2 phone. I've got the uh, the Nikon app already preloaded. So this Nikon WMU. So so you see that's grayed out for take photos because it's not it's not connected to the Wi-Fi network yet. The, the Nikon will actually create its own Wi-Fi network. So, what I'm going to do is go into my utilities, hit settings, and then what I'm going to do is come over here and turn the hit menu, go into Wi-Fi, hit connect, say yes, it's going to create its own network. There it is right there. So I go back to Wi-Fi over here, and select Nikon and then connect and then as you can see right there it's connected and then come back over actually go back over here to my menu right here and then go to the Nikon app now you can see that's not grayed out anymore it says take photos and view photos so if I click on take photos it's actually going to show me what the camera is saying just like that that's pretty nifty. So you can set this on a tripod or something or just on a table and basically aim it at something and then be taking a picture uh, candidly, especially if you had it set on silent photography. That's pretty neat. So I'm going to take a picture right there and there it is. Bam. So I'm going to go back one you view photos, I can see the pictures on the camera, or I can see pictures on this device. So just like that. So I'm going to click on pictures on camera right here. I've got 138 pictures on there right now. 
takes about half a minute to download all those pictures. So while that's doing that, if you want to download a lot of pictures from your camera to the uh, to your phone or your tablet, you can get one of these little guys right here. This is a it's called an OTG adapter. Now this, this is not compatible with every phone and every tablet, but it is compatible with my my Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0, so that works great. So it's got uh, standard SD, micro SD, which is what this camera uses right here, uh, micro SD. It even has USB connection, so that's a great little device, USB 2.0. So now there's all the pictures I've taken on this camera, and um, you can see I've just taken a few snaps right here of the of the bag and stuff. So here I'll take a look at a picture I took the other day. Bam, just like that. So now I can take this picture and and uh, use any uh, Android app and do anything I wanted to do with it. I can make any kind of adjustment and save it on, the, on this device or I could uh, send it to Dropbox or any place I want. So that's really cool. So. Alright, so that's how you do the Wi-Fi. So now, well I want to show you the comparison between uh, this lens right here, this, this um, standard kit lens. I want to get out of the, out of this mode right here and go back to the main settings, main viewer. Okay, there we go. So you can see there's the power zoom right there, very smooth. This is the same lens that that the V3 comes with. And that's a $1,200 camera. Um, also the same sensor too. It's an 18 megapixel sensor. The V3 has the same exact sensor. So basically. You can do without some of the do without the viewfinder, which this is actually a fantastic viewfinder. It's very sharp, and it's over you know over a million pixels, and um, so yeah, you don't really need the viewfinder. Uh, the V3 has got additional manual controls. If you need all that, that's fine. But that's twelve hundred dollars. This camera right now on sale is two hundred fifty dollars. So compared to the six hundred dollars that it was originally, it's just absolute steal. So um, here's a here's a comparison right here. This is a Minolta 24 to 85 millimeter, roughly the same range as this lens right here, and you can see there's it's a huge difference. Plus this is a um, if I turn this off, you can see how oops, you can see how small that gets. Bam. So. And that's one of the things I really liked about the Nikon 1 series is how compact it is. If you compare this to the uh, the Sony 5100 or 6000, those are small, relatively small cameras, but not nearly as small as this, not nearly as light either. Plus, uh, the, when you put the lenses on them, they're huge. I mean, this is a, right here, this is a compact DSLR lens. This is about the same size as the, as the Sony uh, 55 to 200 millimeter zoom lens. So it's it's you know it isn't a compact camera anymore if you have a massive lens on it. So actually, the fair comparison would be this zoom lens right here and this right here. So yeah, the size and weight difference is is enormous. But like I said, this is a really well-made lens. It has both a spherical or aspherical and uh, uh, extra low uh, dispersion elements in it. So this lens gets absolutely fabulous reviews. It's well worth the 250 price. But like I say, I got mine for about 150, which again is a steal for a lens of this caliber. So, and also when you put the the back cover back on, it works the same way as putting it on the camera. You see the silver silver mark right there, and you line up this little this little mark on the lens cover, and you line that on there, and just turn it uh, counterclockwise. So that's good. And here's a few uh, specs I wanted to point out. So I've, I mentioned the uh, 171 uh, uh, focus areas on, on, on autofocus, and 105 of those are, are phase detection. So basically, when you have enough light, it's going to use the full 171 um, focus points. 
and when you don't have enough light it uses the 105 face face detection autofocus points uh, 20 frames per second with autofocus that's amazing 60 frames with the focus locked in the first frame so uh, this is a smaller one inch sensor so but what Nikon has managed to do is give the even though there's a bit of grain over ISO 800 um, it has a film like grain film like grain in rendering that, that looks very very much uh, like a film negative closest I've ever seen on a digital camera it's super light compact and fast superb shot to shot speed uh, sharp images even when shooting wide open and as I mentioned extremely quiet with silent photography 720p or 1080p at either the 30 or 60 frames per second and it has the Xpeed 4 processor so that's the same processor used on the D4, which is a $3,000 camera. It's, um, it's very high tech for a very small price. So, yeah, I mean, we're talking $250 here. That's like a point and shoot. And we're talking a compact system camera. With both lenses, I only paid $400. So you can't come close to that with, with any other compact, lens, compact uh, system camera. Review.com wrote, the J4 is perfect for someone that wants a camera that just works. Has a bunch of fun options to play with and can fit in most large pockets or small bags. As you can see, you can actually put this in a, in a pocket pretty easily. Now, I got this little bag right here. Works, works out well for me, but you could just carry this around. Now, there's a, you can get a hand strap for it and put it on just one of these eyelets right here. But I actually prefer the neck strap because that way both your hands are free. So it's a really nice neck strap too. It's got a got a piece of uh, faux leather on the back here that keeps it from slipping. And this comes with the with the camera. This is included in the kit. And that's about it, I think. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments section. Well, I will show you the charger right here. So this right here is the charger. Now Nikon sequentially uses sequential numbers for everything that they make. So like for instance their chargers, the MH29, that's the 29th charger that, they, that they've introduced. Um, this uses the ENEL22 battery. I don't know if you can read that or not. And so this is a, an aftermarket battery that cost me $10. And the uh, factory battery is 1010 milliamps. As, as you can see on this, it's 1400 milliamps. So that's pretty awesome too. For 10 bucks, you get a spare battery that actually is more powerful than the original battery. So you just pop in this little charger right here, wait till the light goes out and it's fully charged. It's really fast. Now, this is a universal adapter that's used all over the world, it's a 110 or 220. And so in different countries, this will come with a different adapter for the plug right here. So that's cool. It's, it's also cool that they include this. A lot of cameras now make you, a lot of camera companies should just say, make you uh, buy buy this as an option or if it's available at all. They want to use um, uh, USB charging for everything, but this is actually better because you can have a spare battery ready to go. I like that a lot. Anyhow, that's it for my Nikon 1 um, J4 review. The, the J5 is out now. It's $500. Uh, it's got a couple of nice little features, like a little pop-up screen right here, but it looks kind of flimsy to me because it's very, very lightweight. And um, also it has a lot of metallic surfaces up here. It doesn't come in this cool white color. Um, I don't know. To me, it isn't, it isn't as nice as this. It's more, it's a, it looks like a 1960s camera to me. And this right here looks like a 21st century camera. It's sleek and white, and I think it looks fantastic. Um, whenever I take it out, people look at it and say, hey, that's a cool camera. So a dedicated video button right here, which I really like on the top. Um, a lot of cameras, they put it on the, on the back right here, which is easy to hit by accident. Big shutter release button. So, anyhow, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.